Who wouldn't love you? Who wouldn't care? Hello! <laughs> okay, last video, you donators. Um, just want to say thank you for your uh, generosity. This is the last video on the uh, on the charity walk I was doing. Um, thanks for your generosity, it's been fantastic. We've had donations from, from the UK's uh, most prolific armed bank robber, now reformed, okay, to members of the SAS. Okay, we've had, um, we've had donations from gunners and privates to lieutenant colonels, uh, from POW still serving in Iraq and the Afghan, um, to retirees living a peaceful life and uh, tending their garden, having a nice peaceful um, sundowner. Um, all generous and all took your time to um, have a look and donate, which is fantastic. I hope the videos along the way have been uh, enjoyable and informative. Um, donations from all over the world as well. We've had them from the US, UK, um, New Zealand, Australia, Africa, Far East, Middle East and of course locally. Um, the total raised as of this morning was uh, 3,068 euros, which is a phenomenal amount. Thank you so much, it's fantastic. Uh, and all going to the good cause. Uh, trust me, it's going to a good cause, Safa. Okay. Um, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is leave the Just Giving page open for uh, perhaps another week. So if you know anyone that wants to donate, um, please let them know. The links uh, will be on the video. Um, other than that, uh, I'm going to leave you with another story, a fascinating story, all right, and it's, it's called Ted's Bottle, all right, and it's about, a, I've got to pronounce this right, uh, it's about a, um, a Kiwi fella, soldier, um, called, let me get this, where is his name, hang on, he's called Ted Dovania, Ted Dovania, okay, who came from a small rural village in New Zealand called um, Waihoa, I hope I've pronounced that. All right, as well. Um, now he joined the army in 1939 at the outbreak of war, but um, he'd previously done 13 years in the territorial army, so you know he was uh, he was uh, looking forward to getting off the war. Um, and he joined 27 machine gun battalion of the Second New Zealand Expeditionary Force. Um, now he embarked from his village Waihoa. Um, but as he was walking to the station, the landlord of the local pub called him in, George Proven his name was, he called him in to have a, a, a farewell beer before he went off to war. Uh, George pulled two bottles out, uh, both meant for Ted. So they opened the first one. All of a sudden the whistle blew on the train indicating it was um, due to depart. So they both looked at the unopened bottle and Ted said, he just said, uh, he said, save it for when I get back. And off Ted went to war. Now, unfortunately, Ted, uh, when he got to Crete, he was shot in the, uh, the Battle of Malamay, uh, which was the big battle to take over the, um, the airfield. Um, now, there was a guy, let me get his name right, he's a Yakovos, a, guy, a, a local guy, found Ted, uh, saw that he was um, seriously injured, and he took him into his home, and he nursed him for two days, but unfortunately, Ted succumbed to his injuries um, and, and died, and um, Yakovos buried uh, Ted in his garden uh, but before he died Ted managed to write a letter to his family uh, which um, Yakovos kept hold of uh, and after Ted died he tried to find a, a member of the Red Cross or um, a New Zealand officer to give it to but unfortunately Yakovos was um, he was apprehended by the Germans uh, who confiscated the letter and uh, sent Yakovos to um, uh, work camps in Europe for the rest of the remainder of the war so Ted's family didn't know what happened to him. Uh, they thought hopefully he may be still be alive in the, in the hills, he may have been taken prisoner of war, or he may be still in the process of um, escaping. Uh, but eventually they found out because they got in touch with Yakovos, uh, who still had other letters uh, when he was released from Germany, Yakovos, he still had other letters at home that the Germans didn't get hold of. So um, he contacted the family. Now, 
So Ted never got back to finish his bottle of beer, unfortunately, like many others. But the governor of the pub, George Proven, he kept hold of the bottle. And every year, um, he put a poppy next to the bottle and had a drink on Ted. And this became uh, quite a big thing in the local village and eventually all of New Zealand and then the whole world, uh, or a lot of people around the world, came to know about it. Um, it's still ongoing now, the bottle still hasn't been opened and um, every year um, people make a pilgrimage to, to the, uh, the, the pub in this small village and uh, drink a toast to Ted who unfortunately never got back to finish his beer. So next time you're having a beer, uh, think of all the lads that, um, that, gave, that gave the ultimate sacrifice, uh, taste the beer, savour the beer as it goes down your throat on a nice hot summer's evening and think of the boys that can no longer do that so uh yeah so thank you for your don lovely story thank you for your donations and um i'll see you soon see you later bye and how are all those little dreams that never did come true awfully glad i met you cheerio and toodaloo thank you Thank you so much.